guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as the title says, is going to be an essential oils video. Today's video is going to be my top 10, as of right now, essential oils. I know there's like a lot I haven't tried, so I could change my mind at any moment. But right now, these are like my top 10 favorite smells. So I wanted to just share my top 10 favorite ones and how I use them. I am going to be doing a new starter kit video because they just updated the starter kit and they have Valor in it now, which I want to like shout from the rooftops but i am going to be doing an updated starter kit video so when that's up i'll link it right there but if it's not yet just hold on but these are my top 10 favorite oils out of all the oils i've tried so not just starter kit oils um, i did count half of them are from the starter kit half of them are not so it's kind of a fair trade i am going to be doing my top 10 favorite non-starter kit oils over on my oils instagram which is at essentially amy with three l's just because i get a lot of questions about that and i'm just going to do it on stories over there just because it's fun and i'll save it to the highlights um but i will try to have that up as i put this up so you can watch that over there as well if you'd like i just wanted to do an informative video on why i like these oils i will say a lot of them is just for diffusing because that is the main way Way I use oils currently but I do have some other knickknacks knickknacks some other tips and hacks for some of the other oils if you didn't know I am a Young Living distributor which means I technically sell and make money through Young Living which is great I am gonna do like a whole I'm planning like doing a whole video on my at-home businesses because I technically have three so um, that video will come up soon in life but if you didn't know I do sell Young Living if at any point in watching any of my videos you want to try out these oils all you got to do is DM me on Instagram ask me any fears or questions or any holdups you have I will answer you completely honestly I have nothing to hide I will get hate for doing this video people come out of the woodwork to hate on you if you talk about young living but me personally I love essential oils I am seeing the benefits of them in my daily life and these are the best essential oils I personally have tried I see the difference in the quality so that being said let's get started and of course in true Emmy fashion we're gonna be dramatic and go from 10 to 1 even though we all know what the top three are because I say it all the time you go I'm gonna go from 1 to 10 because I am a badass today my number one favorite essential oil ever in life is citrus fresh it's just the freaking best I have it diffusing in two of the diffusers in the living room right now this is a blend you can only get from young living but this is basically a blend of all the citrus oils plus a little bit of spearmint which spoiler alert is also in my lineup the trash truck is here you're trash but this has orange oil tangerine oil grapefruit oil lemon mandarin orange oil and spearmint it is literally happiness in a bottle it just lifts me up, it motivates me throughout the day. I always say, I don't drink coffee or caffeine at all, and so when I wake up, I crave this now. I like wake up, I'm making my breakfast, and I'm like, I need my citrus fresh. <laughs> Maybe also that means my body needs more vitamin C, I don't know. But yes, the main way I use this is by diffusing it. I put a lot of drops. I put like eight drops in my diffuser, and I diffuse it in the morning. I will diffuse this any time of day if I'm in the mood for it, because it's my favorite. <laughs> you can also get some citrus fresh vitality, which is just in like a white label bottle, and the vitality oils mean they are approved for internal consumption so you could use citrus vitality in water if you want to flavor your water I sometimes like to take it as like a perfume you have to be careful with citrus oils in the Sun but I will sometimes take this behind my ear before a yoga class just so as of like sweating that's disgusting but just so it like it freshens me and makes me happy or just for some like morning motivation if you're at work or working around the house or whatever you need to get done homework just put some on my wrists and behind my ear and it just is the best most fresh motivating smell in the world my second favorite oil is lavender oil I talk about this oil all the time this was the oil that got me into Young Living because to me it's truly better than any other lavender oil I've ever smelled I say this all the time but for the sake of this video I'm gonna say it again I think a lot of other lavender products smell kind of dirty but this one just smells like so pure and nice and relaxing oh my god oh i love this oil so much so i will use this for sleep support i will diffuse it in the bedroom at night time or just any time in the bedroom when i want to relax i will add this to my baths just as the water's running a few drops right into the water it smells incredible i've also been making my own scented Epsom salts with oils empties, or you can make it with just a few drops, but lavender and Epsom salt smells incredible and just is more relaxing for your bath. I have been using this in a hair mask I've been making, which I will post the recipe on my oils Instagram, but I've been making that for scalp support. I have to be really careful with compliance. There's so much I wanna say, but I will get in trouble for saying, so I'm not going to. But please just Google the benefits of lavender I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> ah, it's great for skin support, we'll say that. I'm sure you've heard me say it before, so just read my mind. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Just Google it, because lavender has like saved me in the kitchen more times than I can count. 
that may have been going overboard. But mainly I love it for diffusing it, to relax at night, to just help with stress and anxiety of the day, to just unwind before bed. I smell this in my mind and I was like, okay, it's sleepy time. Number three is Stress Away, which again is a blend that Young Living makes. I will read to you what it is. This has balsam copaiba, lime, cedarwood, vanilla, aqua tea, and lavender. It smells incredible. Everybody talks about this. It's called the I couldn't do my air quotes with the cap in my hand. The vacation in a bottle. <laughs> it truly smells so good. And this comes in your starter kit. I should have been saying that. Citrus Fresh and Lavender and Stress Away. So my top three come in the starter kit. Which if you want more information on the starter kit, I will have that video up or feel free to ask or just like poke around on my Insta story highlights. I have a whole like informational thing on there. But it's basically the best way to get into Young Living or to in into essential oils at all. Because you get, I believe now, 12 essential oils and a diffuser as well with some other goodies from Young Living. But this came in the starter kit and I was so excited to try it because I had heard so many people talk about it once I started like wanting to get into oils. I was watching more people talk about them and a lot of them loved this. And the first time I smelled it, I did a first impressions video. I will link that up in the corner. I did not care for the way this smelled. Then I started diffusing it. This happens with a lot of oils for me. If you are into oils, you kind of know that they're kind of more on like the hippie smelling side, the more natural. And that can take some getting used to. But now like I cannot get enough of this smell. It's so good. But I find a lot that I will like the scent of oils better as I diffuse them instead of just straight out of the bottle. But now for th this one, I will just sniff it straight out of the bottle and love it. But again, the way I use this one is mostly pretty much the same ways I would use lavender. I like to diffuse it mostly. I'll put it in my bath. I'll put it in Epsom salts. I just put the Stress Away Roller in my ER order for next month because it's a roller that you could just roll right on. You could put a roller top on this one as well. I do wear this one as perfume all the time, again, behind the ears. I sniff this on planes like a crazy woman, <laughs> and I just overall love this one. It is so freaking good. One more sniff for the road. Oh my god. Number four does not come in the starter kit, but it is one of my absolute favorites. It is like life-changing for me. Grapefruit oil. It's just straight grapefruit. <sighs> The main thing, I, I don't use this for anything other than diffusing right now. If you have other uses for grapefruit oil, please leave them down below, let me know. But I love to straight up diffuse this. Citrus Fresh is my favorite for diffusing because citrus oils are my favorite for diffusing. But if I'm kind of in the mood to switch it up, grapefruit is a great alternative because it's a bit more like spicy, if that makes sense. If you smelled a grapefruit, then you know. It smells a little bit more like sour. Bitter is the word. And it just cuts through any scent. It makes your house smell so fresh and I love it. And over the winter and even still now, I've been loving diffusing it with pine oil. I will mix it in one diffuser together, pine and grapefruit, and then in the other diffuser in the living room that's like across the room, I will just do this and it smells incredible. So this is maybe my top well, I guess it is. This is my favorite oil that does not come in the starter kit, and it's just so good. Another close contender is Valor, but now Valor comes in the starter kit, which is so exciting. So I was wrong. More of these come in the starter kit than not, but when I first got into Young Living, this was not in the starter kit. They just did a change. They put this in, which I think is great, because this is one of their, like, most talked about oils. Let me read to you what it is. Black spruce, camphor, blue tansy, frankincense, and geranium, and it smells heavenly. And I never know how to describe this to people. First of all, also it's blue from the blue tansy. I just ordered the Valor roll-on and I have it in my purse and I roll it on myself like 40 times a day. I use this personally to relax. This is an emotional oil from Young Living, so they call it a bravery oil. Because believe it or not, essential oils can benefit your emotions. I use this just to like pretty much smell. I will diffuse it in the bedroom or in the bathroom. I've been loving diffusing it, even in the office, just anytime, anywhere. I'll diffuse this and I've been rolling it on my wrist and behind my ears like crazy. I love it. If you like Lavender, I think you'll like Valor because everybody always asks about it and I don't know how to describe it. I just know it smells florally and it smells great. Number six is Frankincense, which this one does come in the starter kit, which and I'm so happy it does because I don't think I would have ever discovered it if it didn't, which is why I think the starter kit is a great way to get into it because it comes with pretty much everything you need to get started. And a lot of the oils in the kit are more expensive like this one. So it's something I would like would have never bought on my own just to try. So Anyway, so when I first got my starter kit, there were a few oils that I was kind of like, what do I do with this? Frankincense was one of them, and I started seeing people talk about putting it into their skincare. So I tried it, and I'm addicted, and if you watch any of my videos, you know that. <laughs> so frankincense is not in the lineup because of the smell, but because of what it's done for my skin. But I do enjoy the way it smells. It smells like Christmas to me. Bradley does not enjoy the way it smells, if you cared. <laughs> but the way I would use this is I will just put my moisturizer in my palm, I will add two drops of this, rub it together, put it all over my face. And that is pretty much exclusively the way I would use this because I don't want to run out of it. This is a $75 bottle. I know it is crazy expensive. I say 
The diffuser, frankincense, and valor are worth the starter kit price alone, which the price is $165, again, for the diffuser, the 12 oils, and all the other crap that comes in it. Sorry, not crap. It's great stuff. <laughs> but that's what I say is, like, it's worth it for the frankincense, the diffuser, and the valor because those are all pretty expensive things. But so I ration this out. I use it pretty much every other night, and it really helps keep my skin clear. I had really great skin on my wedding day, and I attest it to my frankincense oil. It just helps keep my breakouts at bay. It makes things look more even and just makes your skin look dewy and it just smells good and I just love it. So I will never be without this again. <laughs> Number seven is so good. This is spearmint. I am more of a spearmint person than a peppermint person. Peppermint does come in the starter kit and I have like 70 bottles of peppermint. I don't know where they keep coming from. I also have like three bottles of spearmint, but spearmint is so good. Fun fact, I'm not allowed to chew gum, which every time I say that people are like, why? Well, first of all, gum is terrible for your jaw alone. Like you should consider stopping chewing gum. But I have pretty bad TMJ on both sides, but mainly this side. So my dentist, let's see, it was, I always remember it because it was literally like the summer I met Bradley. So five and a half years ago, I haven't had gum in five and a half years. That's crazy. <laughs> and I do miss it, but it's also terrible for your teeth. But my favorite thing was spearmint gum. Oh, so good. And when I smell this, I'm just like, ah, oh, I need it. Oh, it smells so good. But yeah, I've always been more of a spearmint or like wintergreen person over peppermint, which I didn't know there was a wintergreen oil. I just saw that this morning and I added it to my wish list because I need it. But I love this for a couple different ways to diffuse. I love to diffuse this in the bathroom or the office. It just smells really clean and fresh and clears out other scents. You can take spearmint vitality and just put a drop on your finger and then lick your finger and it's like a breath mint, which is really cool to keep in your purse. But I just mainly love it for the smell. I I cannot get enough. Number eight is orange oil, which you don't get in your starter kit, and I'm assuming it's because you get citrus fresh, which I would take that over orange any day now, which I would have never thought I'd say because orange used to be like my favorite oil of all time, and I still love it. I like orange oil for mixing with a lot of other blends to diffuse. I of course like to diffuse it on its own, but lately I've been loving orange oil and joy or orange and white angelica. Just like I love mixing it with things just because it smells nice and bright and cheery. It just smells so good. Orange is one of my favorite favorite oils to sniff directly when I have a stomach ache uh, along the same lines as peppermint. For some reason, those two oils are what I want. You know how like you eat too much and you just feel gross and you need to like clear the pathways, like you need to cleanse the palate. Orange and peppermint are my favorite for doing that. <sighs> just smells so good. And even though it's like dangerously close to citrus fresh, I needed it in this lineup because I can't live without it. Number nine is lemon oil. Now I use lemon oil for a lot of different things. Number one, I love to diffuse it, obviously. Oh, uh, it smells so good. Uh, I love lemons. Like, I love lemons. But I like to diffuse it. It's a nice one to just keep the house or the kitchen or anything smelling fresh if there's other odors going on. But I use this in a lot of ways. I use this in my fridge deodorizer that I make, which is just basically baking soda and lemon oil. Mix it right up, keep it in the fridge. It smells great. Before I run the dishwasher, I will just like throw in some there you go. Just because it smells good and it keeps things smelling fresh, I will add this to my brush cleanser when I'm cleaning my makeup brushes. I will add this to my Thieves cleaner. I will add this to my microwave DIY cleaner, which is basically just like water and vinegar in a bowl with lemon oil. Lemon oil is great for getting off like extra sticky residue. Like I complained the other day on Instagram stories, why does Home Goods put freaking price stickers right on the glass of your frame? But lemon oil will take it right off like so well. It's amazing. So lemon oil is definitely Definitely super handy to have around the house. You do get this in your starter kit if you buy a starter kit because it's just like the oil of all oils. I guess it should be up higher on my list. I just like, I don't know, I feel so passionate about some of these other oils that lemon oil is like, yeah, it could be in the back. <laughs> and last but not least is jasmine oil, which is a bit extra. This is a very expensive oil for this tiny ass bottle, but I love it and it's kind of newer to me, which is why it's in the back. But jasmine is one of my favorite scents, so it, I've never had a pure jasmine oil like this. I had one that had a bunch of carrier oils in it. And also, like, the Now brand one has synthetic fragrances in it. So now I'm excited to just have a pure jasmine oil. It smells so nice. I'm rationing it out. I want to, like, buy some rollers and some carrier oil and make my own like roller blend so it kind of lasts a little bit longer. But I mainly use this for the smell. I diffuse it in the bedroom and it just smells incredible. But if you have other uses for jasmine oil, please let me know. But okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want more oil stuff, check out my Instagram, send me messages, whatever. If you don't care to talk to me, I'll have the link to sign up down below as well. I will list out all these oils I just mentioned. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you very soon with a new video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!